Beneath the sands of contemporary Sudan and southern Egypt lies the tale of a civilization whose architectural achievements rivaled those of ancient Egypt, the Nubians. Renowned for building more pyramids than their northern counterparts, the Nubians established a kingdom of remarkable wealth, culture, and power. As the tides of history shifted, their grand structures were gradually reclaimed by the desert, their story obscured by the sands of time. Where did this great civilization go, and what secrets do their ancient cities and towering pyramids still hold? The Nubian civilization, nestled along the Nile River in what is now Sudan and southern Egypt, stands as one of Africa's oldest and most fascinating civilizations. With a history stretching back to the Neolithic period, Nubia is celebrated for its complex social structure, advanced architectural prowess, and dynamic interactions with ancient Egypt. The story of Nubia's exploration and archaeological significance unfolds with intriguing depth, particularly when considering its ties to Egypt during the 19th century. As European powers expanded their reach across Africa, scholars and archaeologists often accompanied colonial expeditions, initially focusing on the pharaonic marvels of Egypt due to their spectacular allure and global fascination. However, these explorers soon ventured into modern-day Sudan, where they uncovered the rich heritage of Nubia. Richard Lepsius, a pioneering German Egyptologist, was one of the first to document Nubian antiquities extensively during his Prussian expedition from 1842 to 1845. His meticulous records and sketches provided a detailed overview of Nubian archaeological wealth, charting numerous sites including temples, tombs, and entire settlements previously unknown to the broader scholarly community. Yet these early explorations were not without their challenges, adventurers faced harsh climates and political instability, and their initial perceptions of Nubia were often clouded by colonial biases, frequently underestimating the sophistication of the Nubian civilization in comparison to their northern neighbors, the Egyptians. Nubia's relationship with Egypt was marked by periods of both conflict and cooperation, with Nubian kings at times dominating Egypt, especially during the 25th dynasty, also known as the Nubian dynasty. This era is crucial for understanding the significant influence Nubians had on Egyptian politics, culture, and religion. Pharaoh Taharqa, a notable ruler of this dynasty, oversaw an era of considerable architectural and cultural achievements, with extensive building projects in both Egypt and Nubia. His contributions in Thebes and Karnak, showcasing a blend of Egyptian and Nubian artistic styles, are particularly well documented. The rediscovery of the Nubian dynasty has been pivotal, highlighting the Nubians not just as conquerors but as integrators who significantly enhanced the Egyptian state's infrastructure and cultural life. Turning our gaze to a broader horizon, comparing Nubia and Mesopotamia offers fascinating parallels. Both civilizations flourished around mighty rivers, the Nile for Nubia and the Tigris and Euphrates for Mesopotamia, providing the fertile ground that supported dense populations and the development of complex societies. Just as Nubia interacted with Egypt, Mesopotamia had dynamic relationships with its neighbors, engaging in both cultural exchanges and military conflicts. Architecturally, while Nubia is renowned for its pyramids and monumental temples, Mesopotamia is credited with the development of ziggurats and the pioneering use of brick as a primary building material. Both regions also developed their writing systems, with cuneiform in Mesopotamia and Meroitic scripts in Nubia, which were vital for administrative, religious, and cultural expressions, remaining crucial for archaeologists and historians in understanding these ancient societies. George Reisner's pioneering archaeological work in Nubia at the beginning of the 20th century has dramatically enhanced our understanding of the ancient kingdom of Kush, shedding light on a civilization that was at various times a rival and a partner to ancient Egypt. As a professor at Harvard University, Reisner was dispatched by the Harvard University Museum of Fine Arts, Boston expedition to delve into the historical mysteries of Egypt and Nubia. His investigations in Nubia were among the first to apply scientific archaeological methods in the region, establishing new standards for documenting the excavation process that would influence future archaeological endeavors. One of Reisner's most groundbreaking efforts was his excavation of Kerma, which he identified as a key cultural and political hub of the Kingdom of Kush. This discovery was particularly significant, as Kerma's importance had previously been overshadowed by more well-known Egyptian sites. At Kerma, the most remarkable discovery was the Defufa, a towering mud-brick structure that stands as one of the largest and oldest of its kind globally. 
Reisner proposed that the defufa had religious and possibly administrative functions, a theory that remains a subject of scholarly debate regarding its precise role. Further excavations in the royal cemeteries of Kerma uncovered extensive information about the burial practices of the Kushite elite. The tombs contained a wealth of grave goods, such as pottery, gold, and bronze artifacts, highlighting a highly sophisticated culture with extensive trade networks. Additionally, evidence of human sacrifices at these sites indicated that the Kushites practiced complex funerary rituals, reflecting the depth of their religious beliefs. The layout of Kerma, as uncovered by Reisner, indicated a highly organized urban center complete with residential areas, production centers, and extensive fortifications. This insight provided a new perspective on the urban planning and architectural sophistication of the Kushite civilization, challenging the then-prevailing notion that Nubian culture was perpetually subordinate to that of ancient Egypt. Instead, Reisner's findings highlighted the distinctiveness of the Nubian civilization and its ability to influence and control vast territories, including parts of Egypt, at various times. Reisner's systematic approach to excavation and his rigorous documentation practices set new benchmarks in the field of archaeology. He was a pioneer in using stratigraphy for dating purposes, which allowed for a more accurate understanding of the chronological sequence of the sites he excavated. The legacy of his work continues to serve as a foundational resource for subsequent research on Nubia, inspiring generations of archaeologists to further explore the complexities of Nubian history and its interconnections with other ancient civilizations. As we delve deeper into the complexities of this ancient society, Reisner's contributions remain invaluable. They provide a solid foundation for understanding not only Nubia's past but also the broader narratives of ancient world histories. The rediscovery of Nubian pyramids and the archaeological efforts to preserve Nubian heritage following the construction of the Aswan High Dam have offered profound insights into this ancient civilization. Nubian pyramids stand in stark contrast to their Egyptian counterparts, characterized by their steep, narrow sides and much smaller bases, ranging from approximately 6 to 30 meters across, unlike Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza, which spans over 230 meters at its base. Constructed with stepped courses of horizontally laid stone blocks, Nubian pyramids typically feature a small chapel at the base facing east, housing offerings, and a stela with inscriptions about the deceased. The burial practices within these pyramids reveal a great deal about the Nubians. These pyramids were not just final resting places but also symbols of the wealth and power of the Kushite royalty and elites, reflecting a hierarchy and religious practices influenced by, yet distinct from, Egyptian traditions. Moreover, the art and hieroglyphic inscriptions on the walls of these pyramids provide critical insights into the religious beliefs and daily life of the Kushites. These often include prayers and spells similar to those found in Egyptian texts but adapted to local contexts and deities, highlighting the syncretic nature of Nubian religion. Continuing on the theme of comparisons, examining Nubian and Mayan pyramids side by side offers fascinating insights. Both civilizations built pyramids, yet their purposes and designs reflect different cultural priorities and environmental conditions. Nubian pyramids, primarily serving as tombs for royalty, featured steep sides and narrow bases and were constructed of stone. In contrast, Mayan pyramids, often broader and less steep, served primarily religious purposes, hosting rituals and sacrifices at their summits, often accessible via a series of steps. Thanks for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for future updates on more exciting videos. See you next time.